Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dawn of Man. Now, in the last episode, we um, you know, finished our last tent. We got, well, we actually got rid of it. <laughs> there is uh, I mean, there is still this tree over here that we can chop down to get some more logs. But technically speaking, well, we don't really actually need it. We have space for 14 more people, so we have enough huts. So we should be able to continue from there. We still got a trader here that really doesn't have anything we need. Uh, she can't really help us anything. We are still on our way trying to get to um, trying to get to weaving or to pulse domestication. Any of these things would be nice. I would like to get um, go to the copper age and get some fruit domestication, but eh, we're gonna have to wait on that. We have no flint. Obviously, we don't. That's that's a that's a bit of an issue. We do not have any fuel to keep these huts warm. But I don't think that's a problem at the moment. Well, let's leave it as, as is. We still have a whole bunch of food. We have plenty of food. We've got plenty of meat. We've got plenty of fish. We've got a whole bunch of vegetables. We have enough skin outfits to uh, outfit everybody. And we have some more dry skins available. We're also making some more clothing. And I think we'll be focusing on getting some more bows. We have 12 bows already. We've got 15 sickles. Um, plenty for the entire population, which is great. That means we can definitely uh, harvest most of our crop. So I'm pretty happy with that. But before we go any further, let's just look at the numbers. So we have a population of 18. That's kind of depressing. Because <laughs> I thought that we were actually going the right way. But it wasn't the case. We have capacity for 32. We got plenty of huts. Everybody can just take a hut and then call it their own. Uh, it's not that great. We want to have more. We want to have more people. More people means more things getting done. We have a welfare of 70%. We have three women who are only, of one, only one is pregnant. And we have two female children. So the population can still grow, but it's not growing that well. So we'll see how far that goes and if that goes anywhere at all. Uh, hopefully, um, we'll get some more people. Well, ho hopefully somebody will come like migrate here. Stop making clothes. <laughs> so, somebody broke their skin outfit and now wants a new one. Uh, it's probably a child that, that, that skimmed their, their knee or something. All right, let's look at the... Um, wait, that's the wrong button, wasn't it? Okay, the points. If we get to 20, we get three knowledge points. <laughs> I doubt that very much. Um, we still have to make another uh, seven more huts. We need to have another storage hut built. Um, three more to get another point. We need another three more granaries to get a point. We need a couple more sledges. So the buildings part is pretty much over. We can't get any more points there. Uh, and getting some more pulses will give us a point if we get 20 more pulses. Um, grain, eventually. I think we're pretty close with the grain and the flower part. That's going to get us a couple of points sooner or later. Um, and we also need some more skin outfits. If we make some more skin outfits, we get another point in like maybe three, 200 more. <laughs> if we make 200 more outfits. Oh, bloody hell. There's no point there. There's no points there. Logs. If we get another 20, we get another point. So there's nothing, there's nothing here at the moment that we can gain, uh, quickly at least. I, so I think that's, that's, that's a bit of a shame. Let's just speed up. Make sure that we get out of this, uh, this season. Cause I really don't like this season. The season is horrible. All right. We have uh, 20, uh, 12 bows, um, we have 9 spears, I want more spears, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm going to put some more bone spears here on the docket so that they can make those. We have enough knives, 12 knives, and we have 5 fishing tools, so I'm pretty happy with that. Well, actually, reasonably happy with that. I want to have some more, but this is this will be fine, this will be fine. We have no flint, we have a storm coming, and we have all sorts of other nasties on its way. It's still winter. And where the hell did you come from? Old woman going to hut. I'm, I'm, ex I'm kind of concerned. Where, where did you go? <laughs> where the hell did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. All right, well, do we chop down this tree and get the logs? There's nothing we can build. Maybe perhaps this granary. But it's, it's, just, it's just to get a point. There's no reason to do it. We already have enough points to move to the Copper Age. Right? We already have... 60 points. So we only need 50 to get to the copper age. So we can definitely open up this um, this age and get some more points. But I'd, I'm not quite sure if I want to at the moment. Real bread has been uh, has gone. The thing is that even if we were to move to the to the copper age, there isn't really anything for us to gain at the moment. Uh, there's nothing here for us, right? 
except for fruit domestication. But fruit domestication comes with a caveat. We need to get uh, pulse domestication, flax domestication, and then we can open up fruit domestication. And hopefully once we have fruit domestication, we can uh, plant trees and chop them down when we don't need them anymore. That would be, that's the goal. That's what we're trying to get to, right? Fruit domestication. So then maybe we can chop down those trees, get some logs, and get ourselves out of this logless mess that we have at the moment. <laughs> It'll be, it'll be expensive because you have to wait until those trees are fully grown, all those kind of things. But that is definitely an option. In the meantime, uh, a short-term goal would be to get sheep. If we can get sheep domestication and weaving, we can make our own clothing and get rid of our dry skin issue. So um, weaving and getting clothes from sheep would be more reliable. But... Uh, before we can do that, we need to get the ability to actually house them. We don't, we don't have a way to build stables at the moment. We don't have enough logs to build stables. We don't have anything that we would that would say to me that we can securely keep those animals alive. Because we only have like two logs at a time, and my people are used to burning logs. <laughs> They like burning logs. They don't like um, they don't like taking sticks as heat. They they prefer the logs as heat, and they will they will do whatever they can to to burn the logs. They'll go throughout their they'll try whatever they can to get a log. They're, they're addicted to logs. What are you doing over here? Had a woman. She got some more fish. As if we needed that. I'm not quite sure why she went fishing. We have plenty of food. We have enough food right here on the ground still <laughs> some more grain to turn into flour more bread to make uh, it won't last you very long but it's still there all right let's just get out of the season it was almost over it's winter all right and the first thing we got to do we have enough dry skin so we don't have to worry about that for now so we can we have enough skin outfits to keep everybody nice and toasty and we oh we got a trader coming in um let's make sure new human was born perfect Keep it up. I need some more humans. Is anybody else pregnant? No, of course not. Hopefully, with a higher uh, welfare rate, we'll be able to keep everybody, uh, get some more of these women pregnant. Would be would be nice. Let's see, what do you have for me? You have skin outfits, and you have bread, and you have, and you don't have anything I need. I would like to have more logs or um, technology. If I can get some technology, that would be excellent. I want to buy some technology. I want to buy weaving or goat domestication one of these two well, yeah one of these two will be nice i don't want to have stilting i don't want to have fortifications i don't want to have well digging and i really can't use underground mining because i'm not entirely sure if we can actually dig our way out of the situation well, what do we have over oh, this is resources i'm pressing the wrong buttons again trader has arrived i know i saw him flint winter is almost over you guys can go home now just 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 go 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 <laughs> I think the main reason why nobody, why we have such a low um, welfare at the moment, is because of people's stats. So everybody is unhappy at the moment. So I'm, I'm guessing that's because an old male we can definitely hunt him down. I think that's because um, of the uh, maybe because people are unhappy. Then we have plenty of food. Food's not the issue. And clothing, everybody's clothed, so that shouldn't be the problem either. I think it's just everybody's unhappy at the moment. Anyways, let's just make sure that we get some more um, flint coming in, because I need that. Mm. Let's just make this a, bit, a little bit big area for flint. Let's put that there. Beautiful. We'll get some more flint, and we'll go hunt for you guys. You're plenty old, so you shouldn't be able to run very far or very fast. We just we just need a little bit of meat. I know I'm not gonna say that we need to have like a uh, hunting season. We're gonna hunt all season and stuff. Like that we won't need. But I want to keep the the dry skins coming in. I don't want to waste time, um, a season time, whatever. Sitting in bed, right? How are you guys doing? Everybody's out of the tents. Everybody out of the huts, except for this hut. This hut's very popular for some reason. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, plant everything you can, people. We have a short season, spring season. Uh, let's just get as much planted as possible. And then we have no fuel. Obviously, we don't have any fuel. Uh, I didn't grab the sticks. And then we have some sticks over here. I want some more sticks. I want some more sticks because I want 
them to go and get me some more, or make some more tools for me. So I, would, I definitely want you. So I'm going to put down a stick gathering area here. I'm going to put two people on that. Excellent. So somebody will go over there, get me some more sticks. It is still cold, it's like freezing, like negative one degree Celsius. So we can't go too far. Where are you going? Going to sledge. Is the sledge still there? <laughs> Is it still here? Is it? It's all the way over here, isn't it? Somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Somebody came over here, tried to chop down this tree, then left the sled, and then walked away. The sled is almost gone, by the way. It's 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 uh, it's not gonna make another meter. The second you touch it, it's gonna fall apart. There's no way we can save it. But getting the tree would still be nice. What are you doing over here? You're an old male. Um, do I need to hunt you down? No. I'm going to wait until they hunt down these three animals over here that we selected already for culling. Wait, where, where's that? Oh, there's a reindeer. Okay. We have no fuel. Oh, screw you. Go get some fuel. <laughs> Somebody go get some fuel. All right. Let's see. We got these uh, plants. I don't really think... I don't, I don't really think that we need to... Um, harvest anything i think we got plenty of food but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna just gonna plant these 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 fields here and that will give us enough food to last the entire winter should be good we got uh some sticks coming in which is beautiful what are you guys doing you made some more spear no you did not you don't you make some more hey, you made some more uh fishing tools okay excellent just keep doing that uh hopefully uh where are you going you're going to get sticks okay you do that I, I just want to keep the tree over here from going away. I want to... I, I need to get enough sticks to satisfy the fuel need of all these huts. Because apparently they, they just, they're, just, they're just burning through everything, right? If they could, they would burn the furniture. I'm pretty sure of it. What are, where are you going? What are you doing? You're going, uh, going after reindeer, this reindeer over here. All right, excellent. That one's caught and is now dead. Beautiful. All right, we don't have to worry about that. Where are you guys going? Um, going after Mux Ox. All right. We'll see what happens there. We get got some more meat coming in. Beautiful. Um, and some more raw skins, which is great. Mux Ox attack. I'm pretty sure four guys can handle that. Uh, we got this field planted and half of this field. This field did not get planted at all. It's a bit of a shame, but it shows how unmotivated everybody is <laughs> did somebody chop down this tree yet no of course not did they actually manage to get to the sled sled still here no I, I, wait they did get the sledge or it just disappeared by itself i don't know either way it's gone um somebody's gonna have to come over here and take out this tree the trouble of course is that they can't take all those materials back in one go they have to um Take all the logs back one at a time, which is a bit of a bit of a shame. I, I don't really like that. That's a that's a that's a bugger. <laughs> Nothing we can do about that. Um, we've got some more sticks over here. It's summer right now, so let's see if we can't get some more stuff in. We do already have three sticks. Um, we got four mud, so we have everything for the granary. So we, we don't have the four logs and the four sticks. Wait, is the granary more expensive than the storage hut? Granary is four logs. The storage hut is two logs. Yes. So the granary is bloody hell more expensive than the storage hut. But that's because it's just on four stilts. So it makes sense. It makes sense. I really wish it wasn't that case, though. It would be it would be nice if this, the log uh, situation was a bit cheaper for the granary. Then we could at least, you know, build one and maintain it. I wish that we didn't need to have a log to maintain it, but uh, nothing we can do about that. Even the storage hut eventually is going to start deca decaying, and then it will ask for a log, and then we'll have trouble. Then we'll have trouble. I guess then I think we can chop down this tree over here, and then maybe if this one starts to grow over here as well, we'll chop down him as well, and then have enough materials to maintain the storage hut and... To feed everybody's insatiable need for logs, log fires. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> I need to stop using up all my logs. <laughs> it would be so much nicer if they did. Is anybody coming to this log? This this tree? No, of course not. I'm 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 guessing nobody's coming to the tree. I'm going to get chickpeas because they are already busy with other things. If I look at the workload, the workload is 228%. That's way too high. And 
make the sledge, uh, fire, house, hut, 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 hut. Uh, just supplying these huts with, with sticks, with fuel, is already taking a lot of their time. That is a negative thing about these huts. They do take a lot of time to fuel up. But uh, everybody does seem to be way happier. Much happier, by the way. And we now have a welfare of 77%. We got two pregnant females. We have zero female children, though. That's a pain. Dry fish decayed. Holy shit. We have too much food. <laughs> and now we just lost ourselves some fish. Some dried fish. That usually takes like a year to, draw, to, to rot away. It's a pain. Okay, well, that, that, that shows. Oh, we got some traders coming in. Oh, no, those are not traders. Those are naked dudes. We got two people join our settlement. We got back to 21 one, um, uh, population, which is great. Now, let's see. They are all, they should all be able to dress up. We have enough clothing, skin outfits to dress them. So how many men we have now? We got three male children, we got three male adults. So I think we're, we're good in that regard. Summer is coming to an end. And you're just, what are you doing? Just sitting, standing around, just doing nothing. Okay, get yourself something to, to do some work with. Get like an axe and come over here and get this tree. Somebody's coming over here, though. Let's see if you will actually touch it. Ha <laughs> ha, he's going to touch it. The trouble is, of course, it is so slow. It's already, it is already autumn. It's already fall. So this, this thing's going to fall. No, he's not going to fall. <laughs> he's going back home again. <laughs> Get your butt back home. All right. Now, um, I don't want to have people go out and get sticks. Well, I need to still get the sticks. I need the fuel. I need the fuel to keep the houses warm and stuff. Right? That's what I need to do. So I still need them to go out there and get the things. Uh, but I also want them to just harvest the crops. So they are busy with that. Look, they're already harvesting that field. This field's almost gone. This field's almost done. Excellent. We'll have plenty of food again for the rest of the winter, which is great. Don't need to worry about that. What is wrong with you? You're just incredibly hungry. Hmm. All right, so she's eating from the floor. Trader has arrived. Let's see what the trader has. You have one log. Hmm. I know, I know I would like to have a log. I would like to have a log. But just the one is not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to... Uh, come on. <laughs> At least give me eight logs. <laughs> this is such a pain. All right, well, that's too bad. I, I would like to buy this log, right? I would really like to buy it. And then put it in storage, you know, and then like put, put it behind glass and then have like a, uh, a patchwork of metal framing in front of it so they can't get to it. So they have to break everything to get to that log. And then they can, perhaps then the log would survive long enough to be used by somebody to turn maybe into a hut or something or anything like that but they're going to throw the thing right in the fire the second i buy it it's going to go poof right in the fire <laughs> there's no way but he does have seven wool cloth now wool cloth can be used to craft some clothing in the weaver mm. do i want to do that i don't I, i'm not ready yet to start weaving I don't have that technology yet. If somebody can come and get me that technology, I would love to buy it. Just give me that technology. I would buy it straight away. That way, I can start looking and advancing my population and particularly give them some better clothing. That would, would be nice. So welfare is still pretty high, so I'm, I'm happy with that. But do I want somebody to walk all the way over here to this tree? Oh, shoot. You're coming over here. Your temperature is low. I'm going, you're an old woman, though. So let's see if you can do it. See if you can do it. Can you chop down the street? No, you can't. <laughs> you gave up already, didn't you? And there she goes back home again. Let's let's cancel the chopping of the tree. <clears throat> it's too bad that they left the sledge here again. You bum, Caragy lady, of course. She just makes a makes it a little bit worse. But uh, let's get her back home as soon as she can. Run, 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 run. Ah, oh, she doesn't have any stamina. She's old. It's an old, old lady. But I'm not entirely sure if she's going to make it. Hey, are you going to make it? I think you should be able to. Let's see. Do we have any space here? We do have space in this hut. No warmth, though. So she can go in this hut. Uh, she's not going to make it. Nope. <laughs> 
Uh, I died of hypothermia. That's a bit of a shame. The land is harsh. And I could not save you. I should have sent her back home sooner. But uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Let's go cancel this location here for uh, sticks and for um, flint. Making sure that nobody goes and gets these sticks. Because that will be a death sentence. No flint either. Get your bum asses back home, guys. Come on. Look at that temperature. You are... Just run. Run, run, run. <laughs> Old lady and little boy. I need to get that little boy back inside. I need him to survive, for sure. Old lady I don't really care so much about. But... The boy needs to survive. He needs to live. He needs to live. Get inside your hut, dumbass. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, you're going to go bury Karag? Okay, that's too bad. Now, the problem, of course, I need to make sure that nobody goes and gets this sled. Somebody's going to try and, and do it, though. Somebody's going, to, somebody's going to go and say, you know what? I need that sled. And he's going to go risk his life for no particular reason and die halfway there. Or, or he's going to get there, you know, at like 10% or 5% or 1% heat. And then he's going to try and run back. Because he just touched that thing without the sled. Without the sled. And I don't want that. All right, everybody get your bum a little bit happier. Mo no hook has got the disease. You really should stop scratching it, dude. Uh, where is he? Is this, this hut here? No, that's Bangkok. No hook. No hook is a little boy. His health is dropping fast. Shoot. New human born too. Excellent, but no hook is not gonna he's not he's not gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. Look at that. There goes. Uh come on. No? Seriously, you're you're gonna survive at zero health. Does nobody die in a hut? Is the hut like magical? Is that what that what's happening here? Is the hut magical? <laughs> How does this work? How is no hook still alive? Is it like one of the dying? One of the living dead? I'm confused. I'm also a little bit worried. Nobody came over here. Luckily. Good. Just don't go over there. Only thing that can survive there are like mammoths. And you guys are definitely not mammoths. We have plenty of sticks as well for fuel. For f uh, so we can keep everybody alive. At least warm. I'm not entirely sure if Nohook has got a disease still. The second he's going to leave that hut, he's going to drop dead. I'm sure of it. He's going to like... <laughs> he's going to drop dead. And we're going to have one little less boy in the village. Got a trader coming. Let's see what she has. Ah, come on. Give me some technology. I just want a little bit of technology. Not, not Nothing serious, nothing significant. Just a little bit of technology. Just, I mean, you have nothing. You came all this way, and all you got is moldy bread. Bloody hell. All right, is no hook still alive? <laughs> no hook is still alive. How is that possible? Uh, well... I'm 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 pleasantly surprised. Let's say it that way. Let's 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 just say this is. It is nice that he's still alive. Now, uh, it's a pain. I need to get more technology, but I can't I can't um, sacrifice those points just for technology. I need to get a trader to come and bring me the technology. Just sell me it. Get your friends. Make them come here with with technology. <laughs> Oh, what, is, what are you? Who are you? Um, you are in your hook. You are not sick, but you were sick, and now you are in here, sheltering. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that he will survive. I'm, I'm thinking he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He doesn't have the disease anymore. No more the sniffles. He should be good. Um, everything else. So need to repair these huts and stuff. Uh, we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, repairs on perpetual. So that's good. How are you doing? Uh, you need a log and you need straw to repair. Oh, bloody hell. The story chat. Varog, Var, Vargol died of old age. Bloody hell. We're back to 20 again. We just we just got like 20, uh, two more kids. Two more pregnant females. Excellent. Keep getting that women pregnant. I need those women to be pregnant. <laughs> I need them to just give birth constantly, continuously, so we can get some more people. If we get a higher population closer to the 30 and stuff but we can we can actually do something with this population but every single time they i take them out somewhere uh they die they die of it 
Now we have a problem. We have to try and repair this storage hut. Um, but every single one of these huts needs like fuel. Here at Mere Decays, that's too bad. All these huts need he need fuel. They need a log. They need a log to to heat up. And I don't want to give them that. Uh, I wish there was a way to stop them from using logs as heat as a heat source. Bloody hell! Stop using logs. Now I I need to repair the storage hut because every, otherwise everything in the storage hut is going to get like deposited outside, and there isn't enough space in the village to store all this stuff, right? And to build another storage hut is going to cost me two logs. And I don't have that luxury. I don't have that many logs to use. I wish I did. I wish I did. But I'm pretty sure I don't. Can I, can I, okay, let's see. We have four more uh, bone spears to make. I want to have more flint spears. <clears throat> throughout the winter. Very beautiful. I need that tree logged. I need somebody over here. Not not the old lady. No, she can she can stay. I mean, she just she just just died, right? She died. I need somebody to come over here and take take out that tree. And oh, is the tree growing it? Yes, it's growing again. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be on a tree on a, on a hill? It'd be better if it was on a hill. It'd be beautiful. If it was on a hill. Now let's get these these huts repaired. This thing only needs a little bit of magic, uh, like a little s soft touch. You just need um, some some TLC. That's all you need. You human burn? Excellent. Keep it up, guys. I need these women. Yeah, so two more pregnant. Excellent. So we can, we can expect another couple more people joining the village. I say people, but they're actually little... Like little little demons. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, uh, little buggers. But um, we should. We'll definitely need that. Um, is somebody going to get the sledge? Going to bank? No. I'm kind of. Um, oh, somebody's here. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Wait, no. What are, What are you doing? What are you doing? No. <laughs> she came all this way. Didn't touch the tree, or maybe she touched the tree. Let's look, okay, well, let's see, let's talk to the trader. Let's see what the trader. If the trader has any logs, then I'm I'm not concerned about the the tree. She has flint, but nothing else, nothing spectacular. Ah, uh, why why do you not have the things I need? Why do you not have the things I need? It would be nice if you did. I need some sticks though, so I'm going to put down the work area for not that's for hunting. That's for stickies, um, right there. Put two people on that. Make sure somebody comes and gets that. We have 11 fish, we have a whole bunch of bread, we have everything we need, we have some dry skins, we have skin outfits, plenty of those to go around. So I don't think we need to go hunting. I mean, we can go hunting. Where's the little boy going? She can't get sticks. All right. Going to get sticks. Um, do we need any more dry skins? Uh, technically speaking, yes, we do for fuel. We have no fuel. Uh, sorry, sorry for, um, for for clothing and stuff that. But I don't really want to spend it on clothing. I want it, I want them to use it for bows. We already have like fifteen bows, which makes it that we can definitely buy something nice, All right? I just, why why am I spear Why is my spear count not going up? Is it is it? Am I just using up a whole bunch? Of, is it is, maybe the thing is that these bone spears are just not very good. Uh, don't have a very good durability. That might be the situation. Right? That might be the case. So if that's the case, then we'll definitely have to do something about that. Um, we'll have to stop making those kind of spears. we got some more sticks over here. Let's grab those. Get everything you can, guys. We already have... I have plenty of flint. I don't need to get some more. Um, I'm happy with the number that we have. Uh, do I, should I get some, I'm, you know, I'm going to put some more axes on the menu as well. Let's put some more axes on the menu. Let's put two more axes on the menu. Let's see if we can increase the chances of somebody going to get that tree by uh, increasing the, where are you going? I'm going to get sled? All right. You're going to get sled while well, that unhappy. <laughs> All I can say is you're going to quit. All right. Well, let's, let's see if you make it. It's summer. So it's nice and warm, 7 degrees Celsius. Well, it's nice and warm is a relative. Um, but you do have an axe, which is nice. And this tree is just waiting to be axed. New Humborn, 
Beautiful. Populations go up to 22. Excellent. Do we, how many people are still pregnant? We got one more pregnant female. So uh, with our with our current situation with the welfare being so high, I'm expecting to get um, to get some more pregnancies. There goes the tree. Put those logs on the. Okay, we got the sled. Three logs, three sticks. No, take it back with you. Take it back with you. Come on, you can do it. Just, just. Oh no, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. Bugger. All right. Well, we need to get somebody over there to get the the sled and bring it back home before those logs decay. I don't think anybody's gonna do it. Look, everybody's so unhappy. Why are you all so unhappy? What what happened? Did somebody touch you in the dark? I'm pretty sure somebody touched that woman. That's such a shame. All right. Um, more sticks, obviously. It is end of summer, so I don't expect anybody to go and get the sled. It would be nice if somebody could, but I think that we'll, we'll have enough for the storage hut to repair it. If we can feed the fires, <clears throat> if we can feed the fires, then we're good. If not, right? If not, then we'll have a bit of a problem because I think they'll use up all those logs to just burn everything. Try and keep warm. And I understand that. I understand that. I understand that it's cold. <clears throat> and it's it's part of the map. That's why it's so difficult. Right? They all want a log. They all want it. They all need it. <sighs> but it comes at a cost. It comes at a cost. Hmm. I'm going to have a very successful season this time. Around. Everything's planted. And everybody is working in the field. Excellent. We got 250 grain. Beautiful. Another knowledge point. Beautiful. Doing really good. I am going to cancel the... Oh, wait, do I want to cancel the stick collecting? No, I don't. But I do want somebody to go and get that log. I mean, is somebody going to get that log? Somebody's going to let those logs. Yes. So we have Mr. Tarnak, adult man, come to get this thing. It's It's... Not that far away from him, so he should be able to get it and then get back. It is kind of cold. It's getting negative 11 at the moment. Oh, shoot. You touched it again, didn't you? You bugger. <laughs> he touched it. He came all this way, touched it, and then walked all the way back again. What is the use of a sled if you can't use it, if you don't utilize it? Oh, bloody hell. All right, you, you're cold. Let's get you back inside. All right, now, it is negative 11, so I am going to cancel the stick collecting over here. Um, I think that everybody's getting too cold at the moment. It's, it's getting too cold for these people. I need you to run. I need you to run. Come on, run, 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 run. Get your behind in a, in, a, in a hut, right? And get yourself warmed up. Look at, oh, the health is going down fast. All right, she's in there. Good. She managed to get in there. She's warming up. She should be fine. Trader has arrived. Let's just see what they have for us. Um, okay, you know what? You're going to just go back home, adult lady. Um, and and hopefully you'll make it before... Oh, shoot. It's a blizzard now as well. Everybody needs to get back inside. Let's talk, let's talk to the trader. Let's see what they have for us. They have underground mine. Bloody hell. The least <laughs> useful uh, technology. I don't really need that. Wool cloth would be nice to have. Uh, come on, just get me, get me something I need. I need logs. I need, I need technology. This is not good. Is anybody out here? Is anybody out here? Nobody's out here. Good. I don't want anybody going for that sled. Um, where are you going? Um, going sled? No, you're not. No, you are not. You are not going for the sled. Oh, you can't. You can't be that stupid. <laughs> I'm going to have to micromanage them right now. Uh, let's see. Is anybody else wandering around outside? No, I think everybody's okay. Everybody's everybody's in their huts. Good. We have three logs, three five sticks. Uh, three of those sticks are over there. So that's a, a bit of a... Um, it, it definitely makes it look a bit strange. We don't actually have those five sticks in the village. Or four sticks. Uh... And that's the problem. So somebody's going to try and get the wandering around. Somebody's going to try and get that, those sticks. And when it gets too cold, they're going to go get those sticks. And then they're going to get in trouble. And I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. I don't want to do that. I don't want to... I don't want to oh, look, everybody's so unhappy. What, what happened to you guys? Well, if we dropped to 71%, that's a bit of a pain. Is it because of the... Because of the amount of work that you guys have? You don't have anything to do with the moment. 
poor kid. This is the worst place you want to grow up, kid. Let's get some more sticks over here so that we have some more fuel, some more to burn. Uh, good stuff. Go get those sticks, guys. Good kids. Good kids. Yeah. Very good boys. Now, um, let's make sure that nobody's wandering around over here. That, good. Excellent. That's still there. I'm thinking in the next season, if we can, if I can, if I can make sure that nobody goes and gets that sled, I think I can get it in the next season and then we will have plenty of time. Maybe not. <laughs> To repair the storage hut. It would be nicer if a, lo if a trader came by with like eight logs and I could just buy all of them. And then, and also with technology, that would be great. And then we could use that to to get the storage hut rebuilt. Going to bank. Okay, you go and fish all you want. You are unhappy, adult lady. Um, but it's okay. If you want to go fish, that's cool. You just, you just make sure that you get back inside when it gets too cold. You're hypothermic, lady. Get your butt back inside. She didn't get any fish. So that's a bit of a pain. Ugh, what a waste. So much. The health is going down because she went to get fish. That's smart. New human was born. Perfect. Uh, population is going fast. We don't have any pregnant females though. So I would like them to just like, just, just, just. Do you think? No. I am dead of old age. Okay. Never mind. She just died of old age. <laughs> I thought she was, she died because of other things. That would be in a bit of a situation. But old age is not a big deal. Let's see. Uh, is there actually any fish here? There is. seems to be... There seems to be still some fish here for some reason. I'm not quite sure why or how, but there are fish. All right. Well, let's keep it going. We have we have plenty of food. We don't need to get uh, food actually at the moment. Um, sticks. Get some more sticks. Some more heat would be nice for the village. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to do a quick little check to make sure nobody's foolish enough to walk, wander over to that uh, sledge. Logs are still fine. They should make it to the next season. And then we'll go and get somebody to go and get it. Uh, hopefully somebody that actually gives a crap. <laughs> and does just touch it and wander off again. Now, all they need to do is just bring it halfway back and then I can get somebody else to go get the rest of it. You know, bring it back the rest of the way. That's all I want. I just want somebody to go and just, like, just bring it a little bit of the way back. That would be nice. Uh, why are you so unhappy? Why are you so unhappy? Is it because it's cold? Is that the reason why? Going to bank, okay. Um, recovering morale. Do I not have enough of these these weird skull poles? Is that is that are these skull poles not good enough? Is that the reason why? I have plenty of skull poles. I can build more. Oh, there goes our storage hut. Needs to be repaired. Everything is dropped on the floor now. Uh, that's all decaying and uh, degrading fast. That's a bit of a pain. Oh, bloody hell. I wish I could have repaired it. Now, the thing is, we could go back to a, a tent storage hut. It is much easier to repair a, a tent storage hut than it is to repair a storage hut, normal storage hut. Trouble, of course, is that um, a storage tent takes four dry skins. I don't have any dry skins. I can get dry skins in the next season, hunt down some more animals, build the tent and have this puppy as a secondary storage tent a storage facility and then if it does break down like it did just now it wouldn't be that much of an issue because i can't repair these things <laughs> if i can't repair a storage hut i can't maintain it how the hell am i going to maintain a uh, a stables or um, anything else of a vital importance? No storage slots left. I notice. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. That's definitely not good. I wish I could do something about that. But the winter's almost over. We'll go and get those logs. Those are that's high priority. It's priority number one. It, it would be nice if I could actually, you know, select this thing and say this is priority number one. Let's go and get it. Let's go get it fast. But I don't think anybody can or wants to. Trader has arrived. Let's talk to the trader. Let's see what they have for us. They have goat domestication, which is kind of what we need. So we're going to go ahead and buy it. 260 coin. Uh, we can only... What? 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 Everybody has a bow, of course. Everybody thinks they're important. Flint knife. Some more bows. 95 trading. Uh, I thought I had like a lot of... Oh, bloody flip. 
<laughs> I have 15 bows and 8 spears. And none of them are worth diddly. Because this guy doesn't give a shoot about... I don't have enough bows. I don't have enough bows. I can't buy the, the goat domestication. Even if I was, even if I wanted to, if I give him all of this tools, all this stuff, I get to 122. Yeah, I'm not. I'm never gonna reach 260. Never, 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 never. This is just. I don't even have 260. I thought I had plenty of spears, but this. Look at 205. <laughs> that's that's nowhere near enough. Ah, oh, I need more. Stuff. I mean, I want to have the goat domestication. I need it because I want to get to sheep domestication. If I can get to goat domestication, the traders will come by and sell me uh, goats. And I'll be able to build stables. But I can't maintain them. All right. I need somebody to come and get this, this these thingies. Right? So let's just set these sticks over here. And that's it. I would like to get some more hunting done, though. That would be nice. So I want the old male mux ox and this female mux ox hunted down and turn into sandwiches. That would be great. Everything else, everybody focus on getting that sled. I want like a whole stampede of people heading towards that sled. <laughs> it would be nice if somebody would. Uh, Drone, what are you doing? Um, let's see, can, can I get, can I convince her to come and get the sled? Can I do that? I can try, right? I can try. It is still cold. It's like negative 9 degrees Celsius. The temperature is going to go down fast. It might not be the smartest thing to do. It's, it's going up, though, the temperature. Perfect. So she might just maybe make it. Nah, she's going to be fine. She's going to be The temperature dropping is, is stopping already, so she should be fine. She's not going to get any colder. And hopefully she'll be able to get this bloody thing and then bring it back where is it anyway oh it's only over here it's pretty far away why is this tree so far away <laughs> come on come and get the sled yes just take the sled and bring it back home oh thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you we might be able to get these logs to actually work right to do the thing we might be we might be able to repair the um the storage hut. I don't think we'll be able to though, but I'm pretty sure these logs are all going to go in the fire. <laughs> they always do. Uh, why? Why they? Why is it? Why do they hate me so much? All right, let's see if we can get this speed up, sped up a bit more. It's still spring. Mox ox has escaped for some reason. I'm not entirely sure how. I mean, it's still right there. Uh, let's just put that on the docket to hunt it down. Yes, her health is good, her hydration is good, temperature is still okay. She should be able to make it back home, no problems whatsoever. And then we can uh, we can repair you. Long socks attack, yeah, I know, I know. Just put that thing over there. Just, just, just put it there, excellent. No, no. why did she put it there? <laughs> she put a stick in directly in there. Give me one of those logs. Just one. No, 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 Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, I'm, I'm, I want those logs. <laughs> All right, he put them in there. This is okay. Somebody come and bring this log. Come and take this thing and repair the storage hut. You guys need the log. We got storm pulses to give us another point. Where are you coming with that thing? Wait, where did you? You just dumped it in there? Oh, bloody... Okay, that's, I mean, I'm going to cancel you. <laughs> I want that log to go to the storage hut. No, don't burn it. Oh, somebody just burnt that log. Okay, just put it in the storage hut. Put it in the storage hut. Yes, all right. We, we saved the storage hut. We saved the storage hut. Ooh. <laughs> but they burnt the other logs, though. It was a sacrifice I had to make. I needed those logs. I couldn't. We have no fuel, obviously. Okay, uh, let's go grab some more sticks. Sticks is going to be a bit of a problem. And we do need some more sticks. I'm going to put you over there. I'm going to put three people on this. Get some more sticks from here. Beautiful. And everything else. I think we've got some more sticks over here. Yep, those sticks we can get. 
we do we need to get any more hunting done i think we're okay i think we're okay let's just hunt down these guys yep we'll get you guys hunted down that way we can get some more meat and some more uh dry skins we'd be fine four dry raw skins excellent this thing's gonna get repaired everything's gonna go back in here uh, all good uh we got some more storage this thing should last us if they keep touching it at least just keep keep smearing that mud right <laughs> if they keep touching it we should be okay with the storage hut Ooh, uh, did, did, did it, this cost me four bloody um take that out excellent we got ourselves some more food I think we're doing okay. I think we're going. We're just we're, we're just waiting for for the technology to come from a trader. But the one technology that we needed, it came and it went, and we couldn't afford it. I need more stuff. I need more stuff. I need more tools. I need more everything. I need more dry skins. I need more clothing. I need I need everything more of at the moment. And I wish there was something I could make that. Um, that would make it a little bit easier to make money. So I think this might be the answer. Flax. This might be the answer we were looking for. Flax. If we can get to the point where we can get the weaver. If we can get the weaver, we can utilize the flax uh, to make cloth and sell that. So cloth will be then easy to get. There's plenty of flax around. And we can harvest the flax. And um, that's something we can force them to harvest. There's plenty of flax around the village, right? You can see at least three or four. Yeah, plenty of flax. Look at that. Look, all this flax. There's a ton of flax here. If we can harvest all that flax, we can turn that into cloth and sell it to the trader. We don't need it ourselves, so we won't be giving or use, uh, using anything that we actually need ourselves. It would just purely be for the benefit, the benefit of the village. So we need weaving. Weaving is now becoming more and more important. Anyways, but that's it for now. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.